you're looking to get into the luxury short-term rental space, I am here to help you, and it does not matter what market you live in because I have the solution for investors all across the world. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise and you are watching Holton Wise TV, right? If you're new here, hopefully you stick around and follow or share or subscribe or whatever it is after the show, right? And if you really like what we're doing and you want to work together one-on-one, -on -one, just send us an email, give us your number, we'll call you. We'll talk to you about putting together a series of videos for you, customized to you like we're doing today for my man Vapool. Vapool, you're a longtime investor of Holton Wise, right? You're out there in Orange County, California. We're out here in the Cleveland market, right? Because it don't matter where you live, brother. We can help you because we are your full boots on the ground team. Thus far, we've been working for you in the low income capacity, right? Cheap Section 8 houses. I believe we got you three or four houses in the $30,000 price point, right? Some of them might even have been in the 20s, right? Now we're going to do a complete 180, right? We're doing a new Air Airbnb, VRBO, you know, short-term rental program, and we're targeting luxury properties, right? And you want to get into that too. You want to diversify your portfolio. And today, brother, you're going to like what I got, man. This is is one heck of a property it's on a friggin golf course dude this is premium as premium gets but how nice the property is doesn't mean anything unless the numbers make sense so let's get into those right after this hey steve what are you doing oh nothing just saving money on my rental property insurance oh my steve take me now Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's jump into the numbers, right? This property is a nice property, okay? But it don't matter if the toilet is lined in friggin' gold if it don't make you money, right? You ain't living in it, okay? We need to make money off of these things, right? So what do I have going on? 105 Melrose Lane, Broadview Heights, Ohio, 44147. Been on the market for 80 days. Priced at 439 grand, right? 439 grand. Now, the listing agent, uh, the seller, right? They want 439. I don't think that's unreasonable, but I, of course, work for you, right? I don't work for the seller. I'm not the listing agent. I am here for you and you alone. I want to get you a better deal. I believe we can probably work that out to 430. If we spend 430, what are we getting? Right? We're getting a hell of a deal, man. Let's let's read what they're saying, and then I'll get into all the things that are pertinent to you, right? Because you got to understand the seller, the listing agent, right? They're going to be talking about this. Uh, to owner occupants and stuff, right? Their target audience isn't worldwide investors like we have here on Holton Wise TV, right? This is the maintenance-free living you have been waiting for. This new listing at the Wiltshire Golf Community is on a private cul-de-sac. Free golf! Seller supplying the fairway card, allowing free golf in 2022 and 2023. Ask agent for details. This three-bedroom, two-and-a-half home features neutral colors throughout, granite countertops, updated kitchen, den, slash office, slash baby room. And real quick, right? A den, office, baby room. For us, that's going to be a bedroom, right? Because what are we trying to do? We are trying to sleep as many people as we can, right? When you're on the short-term rental sites, the Airbnbs, the VRBOs, the Travelocities, the Turnkeys, whatever, right? We're using them all, folks. We're going to use them all. You get more money by being able to sleep more guests, right? So any room that's got a door, and hell, even some that don't, we're stacking with beds, right? We want to maximize our listings. We want our listings to sleep the most amount of people as possible because that is how we maximize 
our nightly rental rate. And that, friends, is the goal, okay? Den slash office slash baby room. Off of the master bedroom, finished basement, dynamic views of the 18th green at Wiltshire Golf Course, heavily treed backyard with an expansive stamped concrete patio, highly rated North Royalton School District, minutes to I-77. The HOA includes use of the community pool. This home is in excellent condition and shows like a model home. Move in immediately. Call today to schedule a private showing. Spend your time at the pool or golf course instead of cutting the grass. Uh, and then she said, you know, buyer's agents contact her, blah, 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 right? So what do we have? First of all, A-grade neighborhood. We're on a friggin' golf course, right? Our guests are going to get to utilize the golf course and a pool, right? And all that is going to be wrapped up in our HOA fee, right? We don't even have to, like, maintain it other than paying the fee, okay? So uh, let's go through the photos so you can see some of this stuff, right? Super nice house, right? Kitchen looking pretty good. Now, I have placed a moderate budget here, $15,000, right, for renovation. But, like, we don't need to renovate anything. As I said, it's turnkey. But, like, you got stuff on the wall. You got furniture here. When you actually make the house empty, perhaps it doesn't look, you know, super excellent, right? You might have some fading on the carpet under the furniture, right? So I always like to throw in a little bit. Uh, of an upfront budget. Maybe we don't use it all. Maybe we do. But I like to set things up for you guys to understand that, like, maybe we're going to repaint this room, repaint that room. Maybe we'll swap some carpet here. Maybe we'll do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, right? You just have to know that we need this thing looking premium uh, for our guests, right? Like, I don't want to advertise these washers and dryers, dude. I want to get some nice brand spanking new ones, nice little bar action around the kitchen. As far as the kitchen goes, we'll leave that. Like, this all looks great, but, you know, when they remove this or may remove that, there's going to be some holes on the wall. So depending on, like, what we do there, right, we might need to spend a little bit of money, right? So for this, you can kind of consider the furnishings and the renovations one and the same, right? Because I got 25 allocated to that, right? So total 40K. I want this thing to look amazing. And we got about 40K allocated to do that. Beds, tables, couches, flat screen TVs, right? We're going to make sure we got smart TVs so they could come equipped, ready to rock and roll with their own Netflix, Hulu passwords, things of that nature, right? We got to make this thing pop look beautiful right like this room we're gonna have to furnish it obviously right you got all the seller's crap in here once this is all gone perhaps under the where this bed is you know the carpet is a different shade so we want things to look as fresh as we can this is that office slash baby slash den room they were talking about right we're not going to set this up as an office it's got a freaking door we're going to put probably two sets of bunk beds in there right that's going to sleep another eight people okay uh technically when you do your Listings on the sites, every bed, they say, could sleep uh, two people, right? So that would be four beds, eight people. We could put that on the listing, right? We want to sleep as many people as possible, right? I cannot uh, reiterate that enough. Like this bathroom, it's looking a little dated, right? So maybe we want to replace this vanity. That could all fall under the $15,000 budget, right? Finished space in the basement, that's great. And you could even throw some beds down here. Why not, right? You don't need a separate, you know, hangout area in the basement just use that as the uh, for the living room right they're only staying there for a few days to a week and then this right here this is our money right right on a freaking golf course beautiful outdoor patio we'll probably want to put a gas grill out to that right like they got a grill here but why swap out protein propane tanks all the damn time when we could just do a gas grill right so that's nice not to mention you get the community pool right so it's super nice deal if you had to pay 439 that's fine but i think it's been on the market 80 days let's try to get it at 430 now with all the stuff we got beautiful looking house pool to use on the golf course a grade neighborhood broadview heights which by the way if you don't know what i mean when i say a grade neighborhoods i want you to check the tools and resources tab on holtonwise.com or in the show notes below it's called the ultimate guide to grading cleveland neighborhoods i wrote it about shit six years ago but it's a living document i update it frequently so as things change, the document changes, okay? So it's up-to-date information. I graded all the neighborhoods in the greater Cleveland area on an A to F scale. A is what we're dealing with here. Prices are high, risk is low, crime is almost zero. F, prices are super low, risk is super high, there's a decent chunk of crime, right? For our long-term rentals, our Section 8 rentals, I've made the most money in the C and D areas, right? But... Long-term rentals in A-grade neighborhoods, they don't make any money. They don't cash flow. Sure, this is great. It's on the golf course, but, like, you're not really targeting rentals. It doesn't make 
much sense, right? Like this is an owner occupant uh, type area. There's not a lot of people looking to be long term tenants in these neighborhoods. We don't mess with it, right? It works for short term rentals, but not long term rentals, right? Likewise, the short term rental game doesn't work in the high risk neighborhoods, right? It's just too risky for the investors, right? So every neighborhood out there every asset class is going to have a real estate strategy that can be applied to it that can make you money but not every neighborhood is going to work with every strategy right so check that out for more info on what i'm talking about right with our short-term rentals we want to be in the premium neighborhoods we want to be on the golf course we want extremely low risk we don't want to have to worry that if this property is empty for two weeks in a row in February because there's two feet of snow in Ohio. We don't want to have to worry that the neighbors are coming in and stealing all the flat screen TVs, stealing all the couches, stealing this, stealing that. We don't want to deal with that, right? So with all of that said, with these premium properties in this A-grade neighborhood, we're going to get a premium price. I believe the nightly rate should be approximately $600 a night on average, folks. In the summer, we'll probably get higher than that. In the winter, we'll probably have to reduce price a little bit. That's how it works, okay? It's cold in Cleveland in the winter. It just is what it is, right? Now... Historically, though, it should average out to a 62% occupancy. I got that number directly from data pulled from Airbnb. Now, we'll be using more websites than Airbnb. So all properties in the Airbnb website in this market are averaging 62% occupancy. Do I think we could probably go above that? Yeah, because Holton Wise is one of the biggest names in town in regards to rental property investing, number one. Number two, Airbnb is going to be one of many websites we choose to utilize. But let's just go off of some historical data, some conservative data. 62% occupancy. So if you rented it every day, at the nightly rent, that would be 223k a year. But we ain't going to do that. We're going to have approximately 38% vacancy to worry about. Then in addition to that, we got Airbnb's fees. We got cleaning and maintenance fees that Holton Wise will have to do. You got your taxes, your insurance. You got your HOA. Now, that includes the landscaping. It includes access to the pool. So that 185 a month is well spent, right? That's what keeps that neighborhood so nice. The the common areas looking good, the entrance keeping it luxurious, so that's money well spent, right? So after everything's all said and done, I presume you'll make close to 100k net, right? So we pick it up for 430. Okay? We then put about 40k into the furnishings, into cleaning it up, into making it look beautiful. We're all in at 470, but 322 of that will be financed from a lender, right? 30-year, fixed interest, low interest. Folks, if you're getting into real estate investing, the number one reason you should do so is the financing, okay? Residential financing is the key to everything. You can't start a restaurant and get 30-year financing with only 25% down. You can do so in real estate. The only negative I could say about real estate investing and residential financing is you're limited to 10 mortgages, okay? Okay. Now, if you're smart, you're going to take that first mortgage and you're going to burn that on your personal home. Take care of home base first. Why? Because no matter what, if you've got a roof over your head, you're paying a mortgage. Do you want that to be your mortgage or your landlord's mortgage? Of course you want it to be your mortgage. That leaves you with nine. Nine 30-year loans left, okay? So do you want to burn your 30-year loans on 30, dollars 50000 mortgages? Maybe you do. If you do, we can help you. We'll get you some of those long-term properties. But me, I think the best bet is to maximize the amount of cheap money you can get, especially right now. Interest rates are friggin' low. So let's burn those nine mortgages on some $300,000-plus mortgages, right? Get those tenants to pay off our loans, man. Let's have all these guests pay all that money off for you, right? So for a $147,000 actual cash investment, you're going to get a property that's worth close to five hundred thousand dollars and is going to put money in your pocket every year totally passive holton wise handles everything on the ground the property management the maintenance the construction the the showings the hosting the whole night we even do the rental property insurance for you we specialize in non-owner occupied insurance on properties all throughout ohio right and i'm projecting a 55 percent cash on cash return with that 100k in NOI, and after you pay off the mortgage and all that, it drops down to 
a little bit under $81,000. And this is extremely low risks, right? If for some reason at the end of the day you did all this and like Airbnb and all those sites exploded, you still own a premium property in a premium location on a golf course next to no crime over there, very little risk. The worst case scenario, you just put it back on the market, totally fresh, totally clean, and we sell it to a wealthy owner, occupant buyer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.